face of the economic unknown. One of the areas that has really yet to become informed by brain science is moral decision making. Moral decision making is hard. It involves making choices where oftentimes both alternatives aren't very good. And so we have to pick the best of the worst scenario to do. A lot of previous experiments in moral decision making involved as if experiments. Experimenters put people in this hypothetical situation, but we think that those kind of experiments are kind of unreal because people don't make an actual decision. We really hope to be able to see how people, when there's real stakes at risk, uh, how they actually behave, how they actually go about having to make a, a real decision that has real moral consequences. We kind of thought, you know, what's the what's the worst thing we can make people do? What's like the hardest moral decision? And we kind of came up with you know, taking food from a, from a child, right? <laughs> um, and then we thought, you know, okay, well, what's worse than that? Taking food from a child from an orphanage. <laughs> We decided to uh, set up an experiment that involved uh, real orphans in an uh, orphanage in Africa. It really allows us, by having real stakes, to see how people make real moral decisions. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the study. It, this is a study on moral decision making. In particular, you're going to be making donations to a charity in Africa. This is a brochure that contains a description of the charity as well as all the children. These are real children with, from a real organization, so it's important to remember that um, your choices will have an impact. In our experiment, we have two scenarios. So in one case, we give people a choice between donating to one child a certain number of meals, or two kids with a certain number of meals each for those two kids. If you choose to give to the one kid, then the two kids get no meals. If you give to the two kids, then the one kid gets no meals. We also have um, what we call the take scenario, where we take away meals from kids. At the beginning of the experiment, we endowed each of the kids with a certain amount of meals, and subjects will be making decisions about taking away from those meals. So they have to make a decision, do I take 10 meals away from this kid or do I take six and six meals away from those two kids? And that makes the decision even harder because now they will be harming kids because they're taking away meals. Some people find this, these choices very difficult and very, very emotionally conflicting. There's no way to give without taking away some of the meals. Right. We ask you to make both decisions to give meals and take away meals. It seems pretty arbitrary, a way to decide how much food to give each mm. child. Right, so you are asked quite morally hard choices to make, but um, these are choices you know, we ask you to make. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we actually put all your personal belongings in here and remove uh, all the metal from your body. We never had anybody walk out on us and leave the experiment, but people got really involved and I had people afterwards told me, wow, this is like one of the hardest decisions that I ever had to do. Okay, there's this ring. All right, I'm going to start the actual experiment now. I did begin to develop a sense of what I'm doing is going to make an impact positive here and negative here. It was hard. It was really hard. I felt really guilty sitting there watching this little screen with that little symbol, that little ball, you almost feel like you're dropping a bomb from a mile above somebody. From an economic perspective, it's a decision that's made every day millions of times, but it's not one that I personally make very often. Yeah, she's one of the more fairness-minded or equity-minded people that we've seen. I was definitely trying to be as fair as possible because well, first of all, it, it, you know, to have to make that, the choice to begin with isn't fair. 
Yeah, she chose to take more meals from two kids rather than taking fewer meals from one kid. People seem to find the gift scenario more rewarding than the take scenario, not surprisingly. So when they find out that if they're giving meals to the, to the children, um, their reward areas like the oral frontal cortex is activated. Whereas in the take scenario, they find that quite unpleasant. So here we see insula activity. <laughs> The subject seemed to be switching a lot between the two different options, showing that he has a lot of internal conflict, as opposed to other subjects who kind of like follow a set of rules that they came up with. My rule was to save as many kids as you can, but occasionally the pictures of the kids did impact me emotionally. Even as I was making the decision, I was thinking, I'm violating my own rule here because she looked so cute and she was so young and the other kids maybe looked a little older. I think uh, moral and economic decision making are related. They clearly share some of the mechanisms. We can assign values even to those moral decisions and then once we assign values we have numbers and then the brain can just treat them in the same way as an economic decision. When it comes down to it, when we're making a moral decision, ultimately what we're doing is making some kind of value-based decision. And so the way of thinking about those values in a quantitative way will likely lead us back to economics. In order to split things relatively evenly, I was willing to give up about 15 to 20 percent of the total, but not more than that. I was just so busy trying to figure out how can I keep from taking from any child? And there's no way to do that. I think he settled down on disregarding the number of children he helps. So in this case, he's probably going to switch the lever and, well, maybe not. He's not. The <laughs> predictions are off. The only predictions are really off for this. <laughs> maybe he's one of the types who really doesn't want to make the choice. So he just lets the computer, in some sense, make the choice for him. I did. At the end, I let the computer go. Just let it go because it was too much of a choice, you know. You look at this face, wow, he could eat, he should eat, you know. But you look at these two, well, maybe they're a little, little malnourished, can use a little more, you know. I wouldn't want to ever have to make that decision. Okay, you're done with the experiment. We're going to come in and take you out. In our economic life, we're deeply concerned with how do we make decisions about things that have different values to us. In our moral life, we think about uh, what are our moral values. Now that we understand that the brain is essentially a value machine, that it's using calculations about value all the way up from very basic processes to moral processes, it really suggests now a new, in a way, kind of unifying principle for understanding how the brain operates.